The CBS 2 investigators are once again getting results before you even see our report. Remember these misprinted speed camera warning signs? We got nearly two million bucks back for drivers. Now CBS 2 investigator Dorothy Tucker is on the trail of another wrong sign. It's a rite of spring in Chicago. Snow melts, temperatures rise, and these hibernating machines wake up. Street sweepers, soon to be familiar sights again on city streets. They post signs, you know, for things like street cleaning. The signs say no parking. I come here to work. April through October. I got nowhere else to park. Two days a week. Well, I parked my vehicle over here. Here is 5717 West Fullerton in the Belmont Cragen neighborhood, right in front of the mattress shop Joseph Wolowski opened three years ago. You look at that sign. Right where he parks, something else is permanently parked. What does that sign read? It reads, no parking 7 a.m. and 9 p.m. Tuesday and Thursday, April 1st through October 31st, street cleaning tow zone. The no parking part adds up. So does the twice a week part. But take a closer look at those times. What is it supposed to say? It's supposed to say 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Like the sign across the street and the one way down the block. So there's a misprint on the sign. Which led Wolowski to one conclusion. Here. That's not right, that's not fair. The wrong sign is driving away his customers. Because people are afraid to park here on certain days. Without customers, it's hard to survive. So just how long has this misprinted sign been anchored in place, scaring off customers for Wolowski and other small business owners? The CBS2 investigators did a quick online search, revealing Google cameras snapped photos of it several times over the years, dating all the way back to 2014. A surprise to 36-word alderman Gilbert Viegas when we told him about it. What's going on here? Viegas checked city rules and discovered, sure enough, the sign should read 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., not 9 p.m. We then went over there and had someone canvas the area to see if it was just that one sign or was it multiple signs. Turns out it was just that one sign, at least in his ward. The city made a mistake. Chalk it up to yet another costly misprint by the Chicago Department of Transportation's sign shop. Sometimes I see people pull up, they look on their phones, they look at the sign, and then they take off. Very frustrating. In the missed P in PM, isn't just leading to missed business. Even Wolowski got ticketed here. One ticket was from 727 of 2021. And then another ticket I got was 713 of 2021. Making us wonder just how many drivers have gotten parking tickets they didn't deserve along this stretch of Fullerton. The CBS2 investigators dug through the city's parking ticket data. Between August 2014, when we first found evidence of the misprinted sign, and May of 2018, we discovered 55 tickets were issued here. Drivers paid more than $3,500 in fines and fees. Why 2018? Because that's the most recent data that the Department of Finance released to ProPublica. We're still waiting for the city to turn over the complete records of the four years since, which we requested three months ago. And if it all sounds familiar, remember these two misprinted speed camera warning signs the CBS2 investigators discovered last year? In all, this colossal mistake adds up to nearly $2 million. The city has repeatedly blundered in posting the proper times on their signs. Back in Belmont Cragen, Alderman Viegas is urging people to fight any tickets they received in air because of the sign. He also raised the possibility of refunds. We're talking to the finance department to make sure that someone didn't get any wrong tickets, and if they did, we want to make sure that we're correcting that. One thing that's been corrected, that wrong sign. As soon as you had notified us, we called the sign department and said, hey, we need to get this uh, sign corrected, and it's been corrected. There's one big question we can't answer. Are there more wrong signs out here? If so, where are they? CDOT doesn't track the location of street sweeping signs, so we need your help. Take a look around your neighborhood, and if you find one, let me know. Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 Investigators. That we will. Late this afternoon, the city finally got back to us saying there won't be any refunds this time around. That's despite a city ordinance that says if appropriate signs aren't posted, tickets can be tossed. 
You can catch up on all of our CBS2 investigations on our mobile app. Click on the Investigators tab.